Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation, x to the fourth power plus 4 equal to 0, and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section, and in a few minutes we will check your answer, so it will be it will be really interesting. So right now, let's try to solve. I'm going to show you a really interesting and really tricky approach. First of all, let's add to this expression, let's add 4x squared, and let's subtract minus 4x squared. So let's do this. What do I mean right now? And we have the same expression. So x to the fourth power plus 4. So the same expression, yeah? And right now I'm going to add to this expression. So plus 4x squared. I'm going to add it, okay? And right now, of course, we need uh, nothing change for us. So we need to subtract it. So we have minus 4x squared. This, uh, this subtraction right here is equal to 0. So in the same way, it changed nothing for us. So this is equal to 0. So it changed nothing. But right now, I wanted to group this expression. So what I mean right now, I'm going to group x to the fourth power plus 4 and plus 4x square. I'm going to group it inside parentheses, okay? And I'm going to group this 4x square inside parentheses, or we can leave it like that without parentheses. So minus 4x square equal to 0. Why I group it? Right now, let's look closely in our parentheses. If we change this uh, element position by positions, okay, this one on the second position, this one on the third position, we will have one really interesting formula, okay? So we will have x to the fourth power. The next thing, plus 4x square, as I told before, we're going to change it. So plus 4x square and plus 4, yeah? And this one, minus 4x square, minus 4x square equal to 0. Right now, let's look closely at this formula. We have x to the fourth plus 4x square plus 4. If you look closely, if we raise x square plus 2 to the second power, we will have exactly the thing which we had right here, okay? So this is equal to x square to the second power, okay? So the next thing we have plus 2 times 2 times x square and plus 4, okay? If we simplify this a little bit, so as a result we have x to the fourth power, okay? So we have x to the fourth power plus 4x square and plus 4. So as you can see, this is absolutely the same expression. So we can easily change this expression by this one. But this basic formula, x square plus 2 to the second power, this is absolutely the same thing as we had right here, all right? So let's do this right now. So as a result we have x square plus 2 to the second power minus, don't forget about this, uh, 4x square, okay, so minus 4x square and equal to equal to zero. Let's look closely what do we have right now. We have, for example, this is our value, this is our a. And right now we need to raise this 4x to the second power, but with parentheses. It's better for us to do this with parentheses, so we will have x square plus 2 to the second power, but this one let's raise inside parentheses. So as a result, we will have 2x to the second power, okay? I do this uh, really interesting tricky move. Uh, this is absolutely the same thing as like that, but I'm going to write this in this way. And if you look closely, for example, just keep in mind that this is our a, and this is, for example, our b. And what do we have right now? We have a square minus b square. And let's remember this formula from school. We can easily do this. This is our formula a square minus b square. This is equal to a minus b or a plus b. Doesn't matter. Let's start with a plus b. It depending on what country you're in and a minus b. So we can easily factor our question according to this formula. We can easily do this. So right now, let's look at this, what will happen when we factor it. As a result, we have a plus b. So a equal to x square plus 2 and plus 2x, yeah, plus 2x, and times x square plus 2 and minus 2x equal to equal to 0. Uh, if you look closely, this is, looks like a, both both uh, quadratic equations. Yeah, so right now let's, let's for example, solve this one on the, on the left side. As a result, we have x square plus 2x plus 2. Let's change position. So plus 2x and plus 2 is equal to is equal to 0. Uh, right now let's find our discriminant or let's plug in uh, this in our formula. And we know with this formula x first and second equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac and all over all of this stuff we divided by by 2a. So let's split it by two parts. Let's solve this left left equation. Uh, right now we know about uh, these coefficients. We can easily do this. So a equal to 1, b equal to 2, and c is also equal to 2. 
So right now let's plug in each of these coefficients into these spots. So as a result, x first and second equal to, we have minus b. So as a result, what do we have? We have minus 2, minus 2 plus minus, a square root of discriminants of square root of b square minus 4ac, so 2 square minus 4 times 1 and times 2. And we divide all of this stuff by 2 times 1, 2a. 2 times 1. All right, let's simplify this. Let's simplify this expression right now. So as a result, we have x first and second equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of, we have right here 4 minus 4 times uh, 1 times 2 equal to 8, yeah? And we divide all of this by, by 2. Once more, let's subtract right here in, in our square root sign. So we have x first and second equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 4. And we divide it by 2. Right now, once more, really tricky move. Let's split it. Okay, we can easily do this. We can easily split this uh, square root sign. We can easily write it as x first and second equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 4. And we divide it by 2. All right, and the final tricky move, square root of 4 equal to 2. So as a result, we have x first and second equal to minus 2 plus minus, a square root of 4 equal to 2, so we have 2, but this is our complex unit. This is our complex unit, this is our i. So we divide it by, by 2. And right now, the final tricky move, we're going to divide numerator by 2. So as a result, we will have minus 1 plus minus plus minus i plus minus i. So we can easily say that our x first, let's go with the plus sign equal to minus 1 plus i, and right here this our x first, and right here we'll, we can easily say x second equal to minus 1 minus i, minus i. This our two, two roots, two roots, and right now let's go back to our uh, to our second equation. We had right here our our second equation. So right now let's let's solve this second equation. So we have x square minus 2x and plus 2 equal to 0. Right now let's solve it. Let's solve it with in the same way with, with the formula x first and second equal to this formula, but we know a equal to a equal to 1, b equal to minus 2, and c equal to c equal to 2. All right, so right now let's plug in these uh, elements into this into this spot. So as a result, we have minus b, so minus minus 2, plus minus, square root of discriminant, so b square minus 4ac, minus 2 square minus 4 times 1 and times 2, and we divide it by, by 2, we divide it by 2a, so 2 times 2 times 1. Let's simplify this a little bit. As a result, we have x first and second equal to minus minus 2 equal to 2. So we have 2 plus minus. b square, we have 4. 4 minus 4 times 2 equal to 8. And we divide it by 2. So it looks like maybe the same as we had before. So let's see what will happen. So x first and second equal to 2 plus minus uh, plus minus square root of 4 minus 8 equal to minus 4. Yeah, minus 4. We divide it by 2, and as a result, we have x first and second equal to 2 plus minus square root of minus 4. We can easily rewrite it in this way as 2i, okay? So we have 2i, and we divide it by 2. And we divide, we're going to divide our numerator by 2. So as a result, we have x first and second equal to uh, 1, yeah, 1 plus minus i. This is our answer to this to this question. So right now mm, we can easily say mm, this is not x first and second, this is x third and fourth. I hope you understand it. It's just two roots from this equation and two roots from this one. So let's write our final answer to this question. So our answer. Let's start with these roots on the left side. So x first equal to minus 1 plus i, our first root to this question. x second equal to minus 1 minus i, x third equal to 1 plus i, and x fourth equal to 1 minus i. One really interesting note for me, because all these roots are complex roots. We are talking about not real roots, but complex roots. We are talking about complex, complex roots. So none of these are real, okay? We are talking about both of, uh, all of these roots are 
are complex roots. Right now you can see a plot, you can see the graph to this question, you can see these points of intersection, which is also really great, like to see this question from the geometric perspective, and we really, really hope you understand it, I really hope you, you'll learn something new. Here's my explanation, you can easily pause the video, you can easily write your question down into the comment section, write your notes about this question down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to read about it, and really interesting to exchange, to exchange information, also write your thoughts about this question, what do you think about it? Maybe we have a faster method. I think that uh, there are a lot of faster methods, quick methods. But I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you this one with uh, with a quick step by step explanation, I guess. And I think every student will understand it without any problems because this is like step by step explanation. So we really hope you understand it. But if you still have any question, write a question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. So here's my explanation. Write your thoughts. Write your notes down into the comment section. Wish you all the best in your life. See you in the next videos and have a great day.